Okay folks, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to generate a frequency distribution table using JASP. First open JASP. Once JASP is open, go to the top left-hand corner where it says show main menu. Under open, you'll go down to where it says data library. And under data library, scroll down to where you see frequencies. Once you select frequencies, we're gonna go ahead and use health habits. Note that this is just an example and that the data set you'll use for the assignment is different than the data set you're using here. Once you open the data set, you'll see that you have one column for physical activity and one column for fruit consumption. Physical activity, if you scroll down to the right, you'll see that there is low, moderate, and vigorous as possible choices. For fruit consumption, you'll see that there is low, moderate, and high fruit consumption. To generate the frequency distribution, we're gonna go ahead and select descriptives. Under descriptives, you're gonna see that you have the physical activity button, and you can hit this caret to the right to move it into the variables box. When you go ahead and do that, you're gonna scroll down to where it says tables. Go ahead and select the checkbox next to frequency tables, and you'll see, if you look to the right, you can see that under frequency tables, we have low amounts of physical activity, and there's 108 counts out of 1184 counts who engage in low amounts of physical activity you can see that there are 443 counts out of the 1184 for moderate and there are 663 counts out of the total 1184 vigorous activity we can get the percentage of the total sample the valid percentage and the cumulative percentages as well so how to read this table is that you have each of the possible choices, low, moderate, or vigorous physical activity, how often the participants in the study selected that choice as their level of habitual physical activity. We have the total number of people in the data set, and then we can generate percentages, which is a relative metric of that value. So whereas frequencies are in absolute terms, percentages give us things on a relative term that must always equal 100%. So if you took 108 divided by 1184, you would get 9.122. If you took 443 divided by 1184, you would get 37.416. And if you took 633 divided by 1184, you would get 53.463. This of course is going to total 100%, which is what we have both on a valid percentage and a cumulative percentage. Hope this video was helpful. We'll see you all in the next one.